graviton lance. Ooh, that sounds sciencey. What to do? Rips a hole through the space and time with a high damage black hole round that spawns seeking projectiles on kills. The the gun shoots black holes? Well sign me the f up. Let's talk about perks and stats. I hate to interrupt my own video so abruptly, but in case you didn't know, someone at Bungie decided that the Graviton Lance wasn't good enough yet, so they went ahead and decided to give it a buff in Season of the Deep, which will increase its rate of fire by roughly 20%, and also the difference in damage between the two bullets is reduced, which means the second shot that has zero fall off will get even more damage. We're going to talk a little bit more about this right at the end, so stick around to find out how it performs. The Graviton Lance is a void two round burst pulse rifle that acts more like a scout with its two shots firing nearly at the same time. It has the base perks Hammerforged Rifling, Accurized Rounds, and Fitted Stock. For the intrinsic perk we have Black Hole, in which the second shot of the burst rips a hole through space and time with no fall off but less damage. And for the exotic trait we have Cosmology, making kills with this weapon cause enemies to explode, then spawn void projectiles that track targets. Okay, and we have the Catalyst, which I normally save for absolutely last, but it's one of the most insane catalysts ever. This cat provides 20 extra range, 15 more aim assist, Vorpal weapon for increased damage against big baddies, and turnabout to grant you an overshield if you break an enemy shield or kill a guardian using their super in PvP. Getting two stat bumps and two extra perks from just a catalyst blows my mind. And then when you look at the stats, you can see it's 90 range, 100 stability, and 75 aim assist. It's laser. It's pinpoint accurate with close to zero fall off at all ranges thanks to the perk black hole. So once you rip through your enemy, you'll prac cosmology, turning your enemies to an explosive pinata, spreading all their explosive candies to nearby enemies. Now that you know how to use it, let's find out if you should be using it. First, we want to take a look at how it performs in PvE. Void weapons have been extremely dominant in PvE ever since Void 3.0, and I'm glad to share the Graviton Lance is no different. I mean, just think about it. It has high damage, AOE damage, Vorpal weapon with the ability to grant an overshield. So for ad clear, Cosmology is basically just an intrinsic volatile rounds. Plus, they can apply volatile to enemies. So just focus on one enemy at a time and let the void projectiles seek to the others. And then for bigger enemies, Black Hole gives you disgusting range to play extremely safe from a distance. And if they're so big that they're classified as a mini boss or a boss, then go ahead and enjoy that extra 20% damage from Vorpal. Or if they have a shield, go ahead and take that down and get your own shield. Now picture you lean into a void build, hunters with gear falcons, titans with constant overshields, warlocks with devour, and then all three get volatile rounds. You're going to be wiping the floor with anything in front of you, explosive pinatas everywhere. Some people go as far to call this gun the void outbreak, and by some people, I mean me. But let's just look at the comparisons, both spawn tracking projectiles on kills, both are pulse rifles, and both do a great job against adds and bosses. But if I had to pick between the two right now, I would pick the outbreak. It just outclasses the Graviton against bigger enemies and adds, and plays equally as good in any subclass. But taking into consideration, my favorite weapon in the entire game is Outbreak. In PvP, I feel like I don't see Graviton Lance enough. I fucking love this thing. It's so smooth with such a good range of stability. And the aim assist is really strong. I feel like I'm hitting shots that I shouldn't most of the time. But, and it's a big old butt, it's one of those weapons where the TTK is pretty brutal. It has a 0.93 time to kill at its fastest, and that's only against guardians with less than 6 resilience. It gets outclassed by most exotic scouts and pulse rifles, like Polaris Lance, Outbreak Perfected, No Time to Explain, Jade Rabbit, and others that have faster time to kills. But where the Graviton Lance is going to shine is at a range, because that 0.93 time to kill will take place at just about any range, unlike those other weapons. I just feel like the Graviton Lance requires a more passive playstyle that is very rewarding when played correctly. Although I know it's not the S tier best weapon in PvP, I really do enjoy using it. All in all, the Graviton Lance is a great void pulse rifle that excels at any range and an ad clear. That's why it gets a 5 black holes out of 5 in PvE, and a 4 out of 5 in PvP. And don't forget the changes coming in Season of the Deep are massive and will make this weapon a strong contender for best pulse rifle, no doubt about it. See ya!